Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we will be playing part 20 of Let's Play City Skylines. The last part of this series on my channel, or at least this season of it. Maybe we will do it again later, but not anytime soon. Um, anyways, in the last part, we kind of finished expanding the city and playing. So in this part, I'm going to give a brief tour of River Run. So, let's go over here. Let's look at Elm Heights. Oh, let's go here. So, this area is Elm Heights, as you can see. Right here. This is Elm Heights. Uh, this was the first neighborhood, actually, that we made coming out of this, uh, this circle over here, this traffic circle. And yeah, and then we expanded down into the Southton district. Uh, right now I'm just doing this, I don't know, can we even... No, okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, so we will go over population later, but then we did the Southton district, which was pretty much anything south of the buildings over here on the first district. Um, Plus these buildings, once we got our second um, tile, I guess, we were able to put more buildings closer to the freeway. So I made that part of the Southton District. And it extended all the way down to where the first tile ended. And also, um, actually I believe we made Garnet Hills before the Southton District. Uh, and we've expanded it throughout time. Um, and this was like the commercial district, not commercial, I mean industrial, this was the industrial district. And then the next district we made was Fawn Heights, which was the farming district. And also I believe at the same time we made Olive Park, as you can see it's still uh, at the border of where the tile ended. This was the forestry type of district. And I believe the next district we did was, we expanded onto the other side of the river, with West River over here. Uh, and between West River and South Chin are two bridges, and there's another bridge between West River and uh, the Mayberry District, which we created later. But this was the first district uh, on the west side of the river, and it was the most populous district for a long amount of time until we got big buildings and now this is more of a suburb. But then after that I believe we made the Mayberry District which started up just right over here at the top and then eventually moved down underneath the bridge and that created problems later with flooding. Uh, but yeah, this is the Mayberry District. And then after that, once we expanded the West River District all the way to the top, of where it is right now, we created the West River Shopping District, where no one lives, it's just a bunch of high-density commercial. Which is right here, it's like the huge shopping district. And then I believe next we did, um, Spruceton, I think was the next one, after the West River Shopping District and Beechwood Hills were at about the same time, I can't remember which one I did first, but they were right around the same time. Uh, Spruceton is now the most populous district, I think, because it has all of the very tall buildings. This is more of like the downtown area next to the Midtown Financial District. And Beechwood Hills, uh, I intended to be a suburb, and it is still kind of a suburb. Got some apartment buildings going. And we expanded down to the Weston District, which um, is more of an extension of the downtown area. Also one of the most populous districts, kind of right here, a lot of people live. And then when we bought the new tile down here, as you can see, uh, well, you can still kind of see where they used to end, the districts. We created, I don't remember which one I did first, but we made Dean Park in Linden Square at pretty much the same time. Dean Park is kind of a mixed, oh wow, the music's really loud kind of a mixed residential, commercial, high density, low density area, has a little bit of everything. And Linden Square up at the top has some suburbs, but is mostly more 
uh, as you can kind of see, high density residential. And then next, I believe, was the uh, University Heights District, which is where our university is. It is somewhere here. Uh, yep, the university is right here. I believe we have a few universities now, but at the time, that's where the university was. It was actually in the Weston District, but then I moved it down to the University Heights District. And it has a little bit of everything, some suburbs, some medium density, not medium density, low density commercial, some high density residential, it has a opera house right there. And yeah, just a bit of everything, and then we moved back over to this side of the river. Oh, I did not mean to do that. To the Hawthorne District. As you can see, it was right here which was meant to be like suburbs, which it still is suburbs. Except um, now it's not just suburbs. Now there's a shipping thing over here. Oh, and uh, the river has stopped flowing for some reason. That's it's probably just a wave. It'll continue flowing. And there's some more industrial type things here where like I think it's sewage treatment plants. After that, we did Evergreen Heights, where we bought these two tiles, and I wanted to make it kind of a more mountainy area that's more sparsely populated. But it, I guess it has a little downtown area over here. But most of it is just very sparsely populated, uh, just kind of houses, you know, on small streets, um, with some shopping over here, but that's pretty much it. And then we started moving up after that to the uh, Northton District. Well, we expanded the Mayberry and Garnet Hills districts. We made the Northton and Myrtle districts at a pro about the same time. The Northton district was more suburbs, kind of towards the main center of the city. And then later on, there was suburbs of North River Bend Square, but that happened later. And then the Myrtle District, I wanted to be more rural area with kind of some suburbs down here. But over here, there's more space between buildings and it's more rural. But then I created R River Bend Square, which I wanted to make another population center. And it did. There's a bunch of big buildings, a bunch of high density commercial, high density residential. There's offices. There's like, I don't remember what these buildings are. They're, they're like sports stadiums and science conventions and like. Venture, science convention, science something, convention center, all of that kind of stuff with its own suburbs over here. And North Twin Hills has some suburbs on the other side of the freeway right over there. And then kind of nothing connecting it to the suburbs of the main population center. Um, and then after that, I believe we went down here to the Lilac District, uh, which uh, it's also kind of mixed use down here south of this street is more suburbs and up here is much more high density commercial, high density residential. Oops. It's more like a third major population center. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, yeah, it's like the third major population center. And I believe we did that at the same time as the airport district. We just put down the airport kind of over here and which is why I put a lot of high density um, residential over here just next to the airport and it has some offices and some factories up here. Next was the Kent Heights area which um, is mostly high density residential kind of spilling over from the Lilac district. These two are kind of the second biggest or the like they're a big population center kind of together has some low density houses like up here but is mostly very large apartment buildings and even down here there's still a little bit of, little bit of space for people to move into and then over here is the uh, Green Hills district which I kind of just wanted to make some more funky roads and it's more foresty kind of rural I guess very sparsely populated Lots of trees. Is that Forest Street? Oh, Piper, I thought it said Forest. I was going to say that's pretty, um, 
pretty, um, I guess, accurate. And then after that, we went up here to North River Bend Square uh, with some commercial, not, why do I keep saying commercial? Some industrial over here and some commercial down this street, which meant to be kind of another large commercial street across from this one over here. These two, on like, they're kind of parallel to each other. And over here we have a very, very small suburb, lots of space in between. There's still some houses being built, so more, I guess, kind of rural. There's a uh, train station going through. You can't do a real rural area in this game, but this is kind of as close as it gets. Or, well, the Myrtle District is, I guess, closer. And then the final district, East River Park, which has some uh, some apartment buildings kind of over here, but it is mostly office spaces. Office spaces everywhere. Some special buildings too. But yeah, mostly down here is office spaces. And some empty land, because we uh, will just leave space to expand, even though we are not going to expand in the future, this is the last part we will be playing here. But let's exit out of this, and then let's go look at the populations. Let's start with Elm Heights, which will probably be the lowest, 1727. Well, the lowest of the actually populated areas. Um, well, there's three living in Garnet Hills, it's probably just one household. Um, Mayberry Heights, 1555. Oh, is that even more than Elm Heights? Oh no, actually Mayberry Heights, I know it's bigger than Elm Heights by quite a bit, has a smaller population. The Olive District, I, yeah, it's zero. I didn't zone any houses anywhere near there. Zero over here. Airport District, 90, maybe just like a few apartment buildings down on this street. The Lilac District has a lot of people, 9,333. As I said, this is a major population center 6,453 so that's like 15,000 in these two districts alone green hills 517 so this is probably the smallest of the residential districts uh no they're actually around 5,000 it's 400 996 uh in the hawthorne district which is actually quite big oh we never looked at the southton district did we uh, 3,402 in the Southton District, and right across the river is West River with 4,539. South you have Linden Square, which is another major population center. Yep, 10,659. Uh, Dean Park is 3,021. It's, I guess, kind of small. It is small in size. Weston District is 16,517. It's a lot. Spruceton is 14,093. Okay, so actually, I think the Weston District is the most populated district. The Midtown Financial District has a population of 21. Yeah, it's not a residential district, so I wouldn't expect a lot of people. Maybe it was just like a zoning error on my... I made like a few squares residential and I meant to make them something else. 28 in Rest River Shopping District, same story there. Beechwood Hills... 4,309, Evergreen Heights, uh, 7,865, wow, that's actually a lot, uh, I think it just because how huge it is, it is, like, huge, it's more than Kent Heights, but only by a little bit, and look how small Kent Heights is, and how huge Evergreen Heights is. Uh, University Heights District at 7,345. Wait, is that more than... Wow, there are more people in Evergreen Heights than in University Heights. Lots of heights. Um, the Northton District has 6,006. Not bad. The Myrtle District has 2,967. East River Park has 2,074, which is pretty good because only a very small amount of it is actually residential. Um, oh no, River Bend Square is the biggest by population at 17,550, which is very far away from the main core, but it is very large and it does have lots of things going for it. 
I mean, if you really wanted to, like, this is more suburbs, and it's a suburb of this area, so we could make this its own district, and of it this street, and then everything above here, I would say, or, yeah, everything above this street is more, it's kind of separate from over here, you have one little area over here, and lots of commercial stuff, a few blocks of apartments, so you could potentially divide this into three districts, but it is just one huge district. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny how the most populated district is far away from the main population center. But obviously all of this stuff combined is much more than Riverbend Square. It's just that this has how many, like one, two, three, four, five, six districts in the main population center, and this is just one. And they're probably about the same size. I don't know, actually, this is definitely bigger, for sure. Yeah, it's for sure bigger, but anyways, uh, North River Bend Square, uh, 1897, so that is pretty small. Oh yeah, what district is this in? Oh, that's East River Park over there, that island. Okay, let's zoom out. So that's obviously the boundaries of the city. It's almost a square, except it does that. Because I bought this land, this piece of land instead of this piece of land with mountains around it and this kind of lake over here. The freeway going out that way. Um, okay, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.